Hey everybody, Johnny here with Team Legit. Today I wanted to tell you guys about my Talon build. Um, I did a maiden flight on this aircraft already. It flies really good, but I noticed I had a couple issues. Uh, what, first thing I wanted to mention is the CG is indicated on the bottom of the wings. It's wrong. That CG is too far forward. Um, so when I balanced out my aircraft, it was very, very nose heavy. And trying to trim it out, it just made it very sluggish. It wasn't responding to the... Uh, movements that I wanted. Another thing that I had done was uh, I had put the control rods at the earliest point or the beginning point of the servo horn and the reason I had done that is because I didn't want the um, on-screen display return home to overcompensate. So I've moved that back out to the very uh, end and put my links all the way to the very end here. The CG uh, in my opinion is actually about uh, 10 10 to 12 millimeters behind this CG mark. So what I did is pretty much put one finger length behind the servo wire right here and uh, it balances out fairly nice with the uh, two 4000 milliamp 4S batteries. So uh, go ahead and come on in here, let's show you some of the details I've got here. This is the original dome that comes with the uh, aircraft. Uh, I personally didn't want to use this. Uh, I've noticed that the, you get some glare and things like that, so I took that off. Uh, what I did is I went ahead and went with the CXN's camera pod design. This is a really nice ABS plastic modular design. It comes in black, but I went ahead and spray painted it with uh, Krylon spray paint. I spray painted it white to match the aircraft. You'll have to put a few coats on there. The paint doesn't like to stick, but uh, eventually I got it down on there. So as you can see, the pod uh, is a nice protectant. Also, it's nice tough plastic. It's got another hole right here to, to accommodate the uh, camera down here. On top of the CXN's pod, I went ahead and added the GoPro camera um, and FPV camera pod. This is a um, pan and tilt pod system for my GoPro and the FPV camera. I don't like to fly using the GoPro for my video. I always have a dedicated camera for that. Uh, I'm using the PZO uh, 420 for the top here. Um, Alright, let's get into the uh, internals and a couple mods that I've done. Uh, you'll notice your aircraft comes with screws to uh, attach the canopy on. I recommend you keep at least one of the screws. Uh, when you're flying this aircraft, you create some negative pressure and the canopy will just fly off. So if you just use one, I think you'll be good to go. So what I did is I've got the one on the front and I added some Velcro back here for the rear one. Uh, another mod that I did is I cut into the foam right here and I put some basswood. This is a bad weak spot so when you go to take your canopy off it just flexes really bad and, and uh, I didn't want it to break so I uh, cut it out put some basswood in there give it some durability alright getting inside the aircraft originally when I made in the aircraft I had put the two 4000 milliamp lipos down in the front like this and it was just extremely nose heavy so it, it didn't fly at all very well so now I've went ahead and uh, I've got the two 4000 milliamp 4S batteries mounted here like so and this CG's it out nice and perfectly. I originally had the uh, the uh, Cyclops Tornado OSD but uh, I went ahead and swapped that out because the um, Tornado currently doesn't offer V-tail mixing and I really don't need the waypoint so I took that off. Another thing you'll see here is my GPS for my uh, OSD. I actually just cut into the side of the uh, um, wing joiner here where the uh, main wing joins to the foam and it's nice and uh, deep and I just tucked the GPS right in there I get good locks I don't have any issues with it uh, going back through the fuselage here um, you'll notice I've got two BECs in here one of these BECs is a 12 volt BEC what it does is it powers my Cyclops OSD Cyclops OSD can only take a 12 volt input so if you have a three cell battery you can run it off the main pack if you do not you'll need to run it off of a separate BEC to supply that 12 volt in my case I've got the 14.8 uh, packs here so this will drop the voltage down another thing I have back here is a uh, 5 volt BEC this BEC powers my receiver and all my servos uh, I don't like to run the uh, receiver off of the ESC because if the ESC fails I still want to be able to have control of the aircraft uh, moving on back, I've got a 5 volt capacitor right here. This is just an added bonus uh, to make sure that all my servos get the proper voltage that they need. If a servo goes out somewhere, you know, and, and the plane is still flyable, this will make sure that the receiver keeps that 5 volt and doesn't short out. Uh, continuing back, I've got my Dragon Link receiver tucked away back here. I've got the uh, round wire just dangling inside. I don't know if you can see it back there, but uh, I've got the uh, positive pole glued back here into the little compartment and sticking straight up just how it needs to be oriented 
Dragon Link, it's a great system. I can't advocate it enough. If you're looking for an expensive UHF system and uh, you want something easy, reliable, and that works, proven that works, go with the Dragon Link. Um, and then moving on back to the back of the aircraft, let's talk about the uh, power system. This is the T Motor 2820, 830 kV uh, motor, and I'm running a 13 by 4 prop. With this configuration, to my surprise and my amazement, this motor is very efficient. I was drawing 28 amps at full throttle with a 13 by 4 prop. So you can expect some pretty, pretty long flight times. Overall, I really like the uh, UAV Talon. I've only had two flights on it, and both of those flights were uh, terrible CG, so it, it had some bad characteristics. Uh, I hope to get it out into the field again and fly it very soon with the CG corrected. Um, and uh, I fell in love with the Talon after buying the Mini Talon. If you guys look back a few videos, you can see my review on the Mini Talon. If you have any questions and uh, want to have links to the actual products that I did use, go ahead and click the description below. If you guys like seeing these reviews and uh, hearing my input, make sure you click the like button. I'm Johnny with Team Legit. Thanks for watching.